Welcome to Module 5 of your six-week roadmap to social media ROI. I'm Kim Walsh Phillips, CEO of Inside Out Creative. At this point, we've covered how to monetize your LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter accounts and get the most out of them. This is separating you from 95% of the social media users out there because you're actually using your tool as a tool for business. Now it's time to make your life easier. Today we're going to be looking at how to get the most out of Hootsuite. We're going to show you how to set up your account, how to add profiles, how to manage your account, and how to use a search function, and then how to look at your account for analytics so we could be checking out that return on our investment. So to set up your Hootsuite account, go to iocreative.net slash Hootsuite. That's iocreative.net slash Hootsuite. Our company is an affiliate marketer for Hootsuite and you can get a special 60 day free trial with signing up on this location. When you get to this page, when you log in through that site, you're going to need to sign up. And it's just as simple as any of the other accounts, you're going to be offering an email address and a passcode. There are many features with Hootsuite that we really recommend. And again, this is a free application. You're only going to be paying for it if you go pro and the prices are really inexpensive. We're looking at multiple networks. So you could be managing your Twitter, your Facebook profile, your Facebook pages, your LinkedIn pages, all in one location. You can check all your analytics for each page and you can work together as a team. Let's go through how to show that. So this is my main screen for my Hootsuite account. And the first thing I would need to do in setting up my account is to add my different profiles so I could be checking all of them. So to do that, I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to choose one of the accounts to add. So I can put in my Twitter account, Facebook, LinkedIn, Foursquare, my Ping account, that will link all of your accounts together, my blog, a MySpace page, or Mixy page. Any of these can be added to your Hootsuite account. And then you can see here, Hootsuite automatically has these two things checked off. Automatically create a new tab for this profile, which I recommend because this is how you're going to follow it, and follow Hootsuite on Twitter for updates and announcements. If that's something you choose to do, you can most certainly keep that checked off. Once I do that, I'm going to have those entities added to my page, but I might want additional things added to my dashboard. To do that, we click on Add Stream. And then we can choose which of the accounts we've already added to add the stream to. For each one of them, you're going to have options. For LinkedIn, you can see all the updates from me, all of the updates from my network and my scheduled updates. Facebook, you can look at any of your mentions and your news feed. Twitter, that's where you're going to be managing a lot more content from people who mentioned you to direct messages to your whole news feed. You can customize each one of the tabs in creating your dashboard. So this is how the page is going to look for my Twitter account. I have my home feed where all of my Twitter folks that I'm choosing to follow, I can see all of their posts. I can see if anybody's mentioned me on their tweets so I can check those out, reply to them, mention them. And then I can also look at any direct messages I may have gotten. So it's a great way to be able to see all of your communications in one place. You can also use this for building content to repost. So we talked about earlier about hashtags. You see this pound and then a word. It's a way to collect information and so it's searchable. A lot of times at conferences, they'll use this. So this pound Woma was from a conference that I attend and cover for our Marketing Insiders group called the Word of Mouth Marketing Association. Well, they use the pound Woma as a hashtag, which makes all of the tweets searchable because I can put this topic as a search topic and I will see any of the posts that have gone up about this. You can also put in a certain topic area. So I search under social media, perhaps you're in the field of accounting, you might look at financial management or leadership, something along those lines. It will help you find great content that you could then repost to your followers. You also want to look at Facebook. So for my Facebook accounts, you can set up your page feed and we have multiple page feeds going here on one page so I can quickly check out different accounts and what people might be saying and then this is what it's going to look like for our analytics so we click on this graph up here 
and we can see very quickly how our posts are doing. So for your Twitter posts, you're going to see which days um, things were retweeted, what your summaries were. You can choose, if you have multiple Twitter accounts in your Hootsuite, you can choose which account you'd like to look at and the date range you'd like to look at. And you could see the same thing for Facebook. It will bring up your users, your likes, your posts, the demographic breakdown. So you can do this each on each one of the individual profiles, but you can also do it all in one spot on Hootsuite, making your life a lot easier. This is where the real ease with Hootsuite comes in, and that's the publisher function. So remember when I was saying that you should be tearing things out along the way each month that you read that are interesting, you're pulling out things from publications, you're hearing things at conferences. Well then once a month, you can go in and schedule those. It's wonderful for saving time, so you don't have to worry about each day what's being set. To do that, you click on the publisher button, and then you can start writing your posts. You can also upload all of them in bulk at the same time. So this is also very helpful. So for us, we manage multiple accounts and you can see each one of these icons is for a different account that we manage and the post that's going out on that day. So you can see ahead of time what's going on. This is also really helpful. So if something happens, you can change them. So they're just scheduled, they're not published yet, and that way, if something like a hurricane, a major disaster, a major occurrence in the world, that something happens to the president, let's say, you're probably going to want to mention that. Well, you can go into any one of these posts that's scheduled for the future and edit those. You can also use this for an approval system. So multiple people can be adding content to these pages. To do that, you click on Require Approval. You could have one of your interns or an admin person type in posts onto this page send in somebody to check them or proofread them and then they can click approve as they go through and that way you can have their help but you can still keep control over your account. It's a big way to have help but not give up control and also not requiring you to give away your passcodes to all of your accounts to have somebody help you manage them. That's Hootsuite. It will make your life a lot easier. Start scheduling your posts searching for what people are saying about you, what they're saying about your competitors and your topic area, and use it to help collaborate as a team. So we went through how to set up your account, how to add profiles to your account, how to manage your account, using the search function, and analytics. This helps tie together everything we've learned so far into one process that can make your life a lot easier. Next week, we're going to be looking at Module 6, Creating Your Outrageously Successful Social Media Plan. We're going to look through the sales cycle of attraction, engagement, and sales, and then the big piece of why you bought this course, how to measure your ROI. Thank you for joining me today. This concludes Module 5 on your Roadmap to Social Media ROI, and we're now in the home stretch of the Roadmap. Look for Module 6 next week. And again, if you need to sign up for your Hootsuite account, visit iocreative.net slash Hootsuite. Thanks.